Hey guys, welcome back to the Mygo YouTube channel. Got a brand new light to the market by a new company to the market, Photonican. And this is their flagship model, the Aurora 2000. It's a big light, 680 watt output, uh, suitable for a five by five or 1.5 meter by 1.5 meter area. And it's got some nice features and uh, yeah, it'll be really interesting to see how this new light does in our test. This is a high quality commercial grade fixture. It's DLC tested, comes with a five year warranty. It's got um, high quality driver, Inventronics driver, LEDs, high quality LEDs with um, silicon coating over them to protect them from dirt and dust. All of the connectors are IP66 rated, so wet proof uh, or wet rated comes discreetly packaged. So overall, it's, uh, it's got really all the features that you would like. The driver itself is interesting in terms of its construction. It's got these sort of end pieces, which have carry handles, but also these spring clips to, um, to fit it onto the back of the LED bars. And of course, it's got onboard dimming. You can adjust in increments of 20%, and it has RJ connections for um, network connection to daisy chain multiple fixtures together. In terms of spectrum output, it's got cool white, warm white, and 660 nanometer reds. Uh, put it under test with the Ascense Tech spectra radiometer. And you can see that it's a full spectrum with a nice spike of 660 nanometer red for increased system and um, photosynthetic efficiency. Overall, the color temperature is 3600 K, which is mid color temperature, means you got lots of blue for a veg growing, keep the, uh, it'll keep the growth short and dense, but also has, as I said, nice uh, proportion of red output for that high system efficiency. I dropped it into its specified test area, five foot by five foot space with silver mylar walls and dropped it down to 40 centimeters or 16 inches hanging height, which I found to be optimum. That is, got a center measurement, which was in around the thousand micromoles. I think it reached about 1100, and, um, but still getting a decent amount of spread over to the edges. I then took 100 uh, measurements, power measurements, with the spot on power sensor in uh, a row of 10 and a column of 10. And this gives a view of the total power output onto the simulated plant canopy. Overall, the average power was 730 micromoles per meter square per second, which is a good level for good high performance in flowering. And a system efficiency, that is the total power output divided by the watts consumed, 680 watts, total system efficiency of 2.4 micromoles per watt, a usable PPF per watt, which is a really good level. Overall, it's a really high quality, high performance fixture, nice features and finish on the driver in particular. With the LED uh, bar, it, bars are really nice too, nicely finished, very solid feel to them. This LED light is also very good value, with high efficiency and low running costs. You can see here it comes right up the top table in the 4x4 comparison chart. It's available immediately in the US uh, and there are links below where you can find it. And it's going to be available soon in Europe. We'll update the description when that is available. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy to recommend this light. If there's anything else you'd like to know, any questions or queries about this test, please leave them down below in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.